Hi, this is DOSBox Mom, and welcome back to Let's Play Heroes Chronicles. During the time between turns, Green Player was sniffing around a little bit more in the purple territory, and they picked up some of the stuff over here. Hopefully they won't clear that Griffin Generator, because we really could use that. So let's. There's. I think there's another GOG generator down here, which is why I've had Tartum going around down here. Oh. <coughs> but you can always pick up some monks, too. This shouldn't take very long. And since the monks are a range unit, you know, we want to advance on them quickly. Uh, let's see. <coughs> Ooh. <coughs> Tarnum's got a lot more magic skill as a knight than he did it. Than he had as a barbarian. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're down to just one monk left. Yep, that's it. Okay, I'm going to leave the rest of that treasure for now. Let somebody else come pick it up. Let's see if we can have Cuthbert take on those skeletons. If he can't manage it, then we'll just leave him be. <coughs> hmm. Looks like about 40 <coughs> four of them there. Ooh, if I cough anymore, I'm going to have to go take some cold medicine. Okay, I think we'll try this on the armored skeletons first, which took them out. Okay. So there's a range penalty no matter which stack they strike at. And I think we'll move these pikemen in between our last gog and the monks. <sighs> yeah. Okay, and we'll have the pikemen defend. <clears throat> okay, oops. Okay. Cuthbert doesn't have enough spell points left, too. Hmm. Yeah, Cuthbert wasn't able to cast any more spells. But the skeleton's numbers are down enough that we shouldn't have any trouble taking them out. There we go. But I don't think we'll attack any for. I think that Hellstorm hel helmet might be useful. Except we probably have not yet found
We haven't yet found a seer who might want that. But. Ooh. Okay. And let's have Ingham head towards that gold. Okay, perhaps Okay Maybe we can send Sir Mullock that way And we haven't built anything here yet. All right, maybe the well, since we since we have Sonya here, let's build a mage. Okay, should do it. Things were going rather well until one of the old timers began talking about Freon Griffinhart's campaign against the barbarian tyrant. He spoke of Griffinhart's bravery, how he stood before the tyrant's massive army and challenged the British king to single combat in order to prevent even more carnage. The barbarian king was stronger, taller, and Blinded by a rage that seemed unquenchable, using skill instead of fury, Griffinhart gutted the stupid savage. Those were his words. The old soldier continued, explaining how the barbarian army must have thought their king was invincible, because when they saw him fall, they lost all hope and ran. I had to bite my tongue to keep from speaking out in my defense, and when their words got to be too much, I walked away. One thing certain, that old soldier will be digging latrines for months. And so now it's dog week. And we can have, t ooh, the infernal troglodytes join us. Okay, and I think we'll send them, send Tarnum back up here to hire some more monks. And while he's there, let's have Income pick up some loose treasure. <coughs> right. Then I think we'll start sending Tarnum back up this way and clear a different corridor. And we'll have Cuthbert pick up some monks. And then he can go back towards the GOG recruitment site. And we'll have Sonya pick up some archers. And then we'll have Sylvia take the knights from Sonia. And go towards our castle. So we can get... Yeah. We're going to have to pay for the upgrade building for the archer sometime soon. Okay, and Sir Malek will pick up some more gogs. And bring them towards Cuthbert. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. And I think we'll build the upgraded Archer's Tower.
So now we've got halberdiers and marksmen. There. Ooh. Maybe we can afford another hero. We have a choice of Tyrus or Rion. I think if we gotta go with one or the other, Tyrus is definitely the one. And we'll get her troops upgraded. That's one way to combine armies. <coughs> and we'll bring those archers back to the castle and get them upgraded. Then, you know, actually, I think we'll keep Tyrus and Garrison for now until we've got all the upgrade buildings built. Okay. Ooh. Uh-oh. There's an enemy hero over there. Crap. We have got to get Ingham out of here. In fact, what we might want to do is reload from the autosave. Because now we know that there's a hero that there's an enemy hero down that way. We'll have Tarnan go pick up those gems instead. And we'll start sending Ingham back north. Okay. And then Sir Mullock needs to head back toward the castle. And then Cuthbert we want to send back towards the castle so you can get those Pikeman upgraded to halberdiers. And then Sylvia needs to get her one pikeman upgraded. I'll build the upgraded Griffin Tower. Okay. 
Oh, where do we need to send Sonya? Well, she hasn't been there yet. Okay, I think that pretty much covers it. Oh, yeah. The lines of communication are open once again. And Queen Allison's first message is more than a letter. Dearest Tarnum, I am grateful for your continued help in finding my father's soul. He was a good man who fought honorably and died honorably. Knowing that things must be difficult, I have taken up a collection from the nobles in my father's honor and have sent the proceeds to you. Please find my father soon. And so we've got various kinds of resources and gold. All of this is going to be kind of useful. Okay, that looks like a scouting hero. We'll go to the rally flag first because that'll improve our movement. And we can have... <coughs> no, 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 no. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I think we can do this. Okay, so that's 30. Ooh. Oh, Tarnum is so many <laughs> spell points. Okay. Ice bolts should be more than enough to take out those gogs. Okay. Then I think we'll have <coughs> our melee units guard our range units since we just have these imps left to deal with. Oh. There we go. And we'll give Turnham Advanced Wisdom. Okay. Now I think we'll send Tarnum back north. Okay, then Sonya can go to that star axis and Maybe head back to the castle. Meanwhile, Ingham needs to get his pikeman turned into a halberdier. And Sylvia. Can bring those troops down, down to Tarnum. And Sir Mullock. There. Then we'll upgrade the barracks here. So we can turn these swordsmen into crusaders. Okay. Oh, we took out our first orange hero. Oh. The green guys wiped out the purple guys. Oh. 
Yep. Then we'll have Sylvia take Charnum's troops back up to the castle to be upgraded. And then Sonia, you can ferry them a little farther along, hopefully. No, oh, that's not going to work. Okay, she'd better leave the stuff with Sylvia. And maybe send somebody from closer to the castle down to Sylvia. Okay. Send Cuthbert down this way. Okay, that is Ingham. Okay, then Sir Bullock could go into the castle. And so as we can send him down towards Sylvia here. Oh, we don't have to worry about our purple allies scarfing up the artifacts now, but the AI players might still. Okay, so Sylvia can reach all the way back to the castle this turn and get all those guys upgraded. Yeah, money is not an issue yet, especially since we only control the one castle so far. But I think in the next episode we will finally try taking the fight to the green and the orange players. So we will see you then.